The dream of bringing the Hyperloop transit system to Columbus has some tax money behind it now. The Mid-Ohio Regional Planning Commission will spend $2.5 million for feasibility and environmental studies. The proposed route would link Pittsburgh, Columbus, and Chicago. It's like a pneumatic tube. Cars in a vacuum tube would travel at more than 600 miles an hour, meaning you can get to Chicago in about a half hour. It would transport passengers and freight. The Columbus route is one of nine under consideration around the world by the company Hyperloop One. Mike Miller, are you going to be the first to try the Hyperloop? <laughs> Boy, I hope I live that long. <laughs> I think it sounds fantastic. I would, I would just hoping we'd have, you know, some small mass transit. <laughs> this thing is just phenomenal to me. In what I've read about it, uh, I know they they talked about L.A. to San Francisco, which is the same distance-wise basically as Columbus to Chicago, and getting there in uh, you know 29 minutes or something, up to I think 750 miles an hour, frictionless, shoot through this tube. It's kind of like being a drive-in bank, you know, that yeah. little thing I put in and just takes. Put all your pennies in it. See yeah. what happens. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, but, and the money, they say, uh, I know that the L.A. one was uh, $6 billion, and if they wanted to make it including freight for cars and all that, it would be like $7.2 billion. Uh, who knows whether that would be accurate. I imagine it would be a lot more than that. But just the concept of it, it's almost space age to yeah. me. Mm -hmm. uh, it, just, it sounds wonderful. The idea of adding freight, though, to it is that that creates an economy um, that they wouldn't have. I mean, that, that could add to the revenues Absolutely. for this. And mm -hmm. it, it'd come back in spades, you know, a billion here, a billion there. It's still hard for we're me. We're talking about real money. Yeah, exactly. right. <laughs> it's hard for me to get my head around this because I still have the battle scars of trying to convince Ohioans that we want the four hundred million dollars for high speed rail, and you know that they, they were not open to you know that alternative um, type of transportation. So we'll see. Well, Maybe we'll just go past high speed rail and go that, right to that's hyperloop. What the Kasich administration sent it back. I mean, it Ohio back. got the money and. Governor Kasich sent it back. Was, is there any state money on this, Jim? What's the state feeling at the state house for this? Are they because Cleveland wants to do one too, apparently. Well, sure. Different company. Yeah. Yeah. Just hyperloop everybody right, <laughs> right through Ohio <laughs> on to somewhere else. Right? <laughs> Lima, there'll be a discussion. Right. Lima. And... Well, I, to be honest, I don't think it's being discussed much at yeah. this point. I mean, it's we're yeah. still too early on, and the you know it. I hate to say pipe dream, but it, there's exactly still there's still some is. who say, well, think it might still be in that stage. I mean, it, it's good to see that we're doing some the preliminary work and getting ready and and hoping that we'll we'll get there. But um, I I don't know how seriously anyone's stepping up and, and trying to come up with financial solutions to this yet. Speaking of the freight, one of the things I read saying that the Hyperloop could get corn from Indiana to the John Glenn Airport in a half hour. And it could be in Japan the next yeah. day. Mm -hmm. So my question is, Mike, do the Japanese really want their corn that fast? I don't think so. <laughs> they want to pay for it. <laughs> yeah, that seems that seems a bit uh, quick. I, I don't know. This whole thing is just spectacular to me. I, I would love. I know it may not be practical at all. If high speed rail wasn't, then maybe this isn't. But they do have picked. I think in India is supposed to be the first time. Yeah. That's going to be the first link to go. And if it really goes in two years, five years, eight years, whatever it is. And if it works, goodness gracious. If it'll work in India, it'll work, work anywhere, work in India, right? Work yeah. Here, yeah. <laughs> but my question is, Janetta, while we do this, are we passing up more feasible transportation options? Well, well I mean, we are. We are. And that's, you know, I guess that's just a frustrating thing. When businesses look to, to locate, they want to know, you know, what are your, your public trans, uh, transportation systems? And we just, we don't invest enough in that. All right.